Hi, I'm going to show you how to use your regular webcam as a security camera. We're going to use the program motion to have it record only when there's movement in front of the camera, and we're going to use Dropbox to automatically back up the videos and images onto the internet as they're created. The purpose of backing them up as they're created is so that if someone were to shut off your computer and steal it while the camera is running, you may be able to get images of the thief as they approach the computer. Now, to start off, we're going to install Motion, which is a software motion detector. Okay, let's open up a terminal and type sudo apt-get install motion. Of course, type your password. Now we're going to type yes. We want to continue. And while that's running, let's get Dropbox. We go to the Dropbox website at dropbox.com and click the download button. Now it just wants to know which version of Linux we're using. Okay, we're going to save the file. And we'll have that open up with Software Center. Let's check on our motion install. It's installed. So let's quickly make a directory called .motion in our home folder. We're going to keep our configuration file in there, a copy of it, which we're going to be editing. Um, let's actually move that over right now. sudo copy slash etc slash motion slash motion dot conf to dot motion slash motion dot conf. And now we need to own that file, sudo ch own dgw is my name, you'd want to put in your own name here, dot motion slash motion dot conf. And I thought I double clicked this. should be opening up Software Center. Virtual Machine is kind of slow. Anyway, we're going to edit this motion.conf file, so we'll just open it up and get it. Motion. There we go. Man, that was super slow. Okay. Click Install. Now, let's get back to editing that configuration file. Now, I want you to take a look at this file. It's, uh, you might think it's a little scary to be using a program that has to be run from the command line and that uses text files for configuration, but it's actually pretty, pretty simple and straightforward if you look at what's in this file. I just need line numbers so that I know where we're going. Um, let's see. Like, okay, here it says maximum number of frames to be captured per second. This is the frame rate. Uh, valid range 2 to 100, default 100, almost no limit. So these lines that have the hash mark at the beginning, those are comments. Those are instructions for how you're going to edit the file, and now the line below it that doesn't have a hash mark, this is the actual configuration. And here it says frame rate. That's the frame rate configuration, and it's set to 2, but we're going to change that to 10. See? That's actually really easy to edit it the way we need it. Now let's go down and edit the video codec. Now see, codec used by FFmpeg for the video compression. Now they list all these possibilities uh, for different codecs that we could be using. Um, we're going to use MPEG-4, which is mostly personal preference, but it gives us a nice .avi file. So MPEG, oops, MPEG-4 instead of the SWF that was there before. Again, this is on the line that doesn't have the hash marks, where it says FFmpeg video codec. That's the configuration, and we changed the value. See? Super easy. Uh, now we're going to go down, and again, I mean, it's, it's all explained for you right here, what you need to do. 
It's not scary. It's actually super simple. Now, the target-based directory for pictures and files. Recommended to use absolute path. That means don't use the tilde for home directory. Um, this actually, let's get our Dropbox install finished. Uh, so start Dropbox to finish the installation. Because we're going to want to put our files into our Dropbox folder. Oh, still doing that. Okay, let's actually go back here. Now, we'll change, um, instead of slash temp slash motion, we don't want our video files going there. We want them going to our home folder. My name is DGW, so home.dgw slash Dropbox. That's going to be your Dropbox folder. Then we're going to stick a folder in there called motion which we need to create once the Dropbox installation is finished, which it's just about to be. Okay. All you need to do to, to create a Dropbox account is actually just put in your email address and pick a password. So basically the same thing I'm doing here except I using an account that I already have. Uh, I misspelled my email. Really misspelled my email. There. <laughs> okay, and we want the two gigabytes for free. We want a typical installation. I'm installing this on this computer even though I already have an account it's not installed on this computer this is just a clean installation of Ubuntu that I'm doing this on and it's all ready to go oh yeah to allow it to sync extended file attributes that's fine now I need to restart Nautilus, actually, because we're going to see some little Dropbox icons in our Dropbox folder. You'll see what I mean in a second. Yep. See these little green checks? That means it's all synced up. Um, oh, 37 files. That's because, um, let me just get rid of this. This is from when I, uh, messed up making this tutorial before. <laughs> anyway, these little green check marks mean everything's all synced up. And you'll see the little blue syncing icon if things are not synced up to the server. Um, when you put something in your Dropbox folder here, it gets automatically backed up onto the internet, which is really handy for our purposes here, and, and might be handy for you in general if you didn't know about this service. So our target directory, we want our files to go into home, our, our home folder, slash Dropbox, slash motion. Now, uh, file path for motion triggered images. This is where our JPEGs are going to go. Now, you see this string here, which looks a little bit weird. JPEG file name. That um, is actually uh, this percent Y is year, percent M is month, percent D is day, you know, so it's it's going to be using this convention to name your files. It's like version, then year, month, day, hour, minute, second, I don't remember what Q is. Um, but it, it's actually going to give your file names a really useful name because you'll know exactly when they're from. But we don't want uh, all the still image files to go into the same folder as your video files because um, you're, if you have both still images and videos, you're going to end up with tons and tons and tons of still images, and it's going to be hard to find the videos. And most of the time, you're just going to want to watch the video rather than look at a still photo. So we're going to stick these still photos into the snapshot folder. And of course, if you don't want still photos at all, you can just change your configuration file. There's, there's a place to turn that off, that feature off. Um, you can do lots of different configurations in here, but I'm just doing a few things that, you know, t basically to show you how simple it is 
to edit the configuration file and to edit a few things that you might want to edit to make this a little bit nicer to use. Now we're just going to want to save this file and what we're going to want to do now before we start up motion is let's make a launcher for your panel. You see this little Firefox icon here when you click it it launches Firefox. We're going to want to make a button just like this except when we click it it's going to launch motion. Um, however we're not just going to want to launch motion we're going to want to do a few other things. Um, one of those things we're going to want to do is uh, we're going to want to wait for 30, maybe 30 seconds. It doesn't have to be 30 seconds, but we're going to want to wait before we launch it so that we can walk away from the computer because you want this to be recording if there's motion while you're not here. You don't need